Introverts, how did you meet your girlfriend? She was a mutual roommate in an off-campus share house. We were just friends for a couple years, with the occasional drunken snuggle session. Eventually we moved out of the college flat together out of necessity, neither of us knowing anyone else to move out with. The sex frequency increased, and then eventually we just decided we might as well date. Not exactly glamorous, but we've been going strong for a few years now. I've grown to love her. She's a great person. Both of us are introverts. We met when four of us went on a vacation to Tofino in Vancouver Island. Both of us were too shy to talk to each other until the second to last day when I decided to voice my thoughts to one of the people in our group and he encouraged me to ask him out. However, at the time I strongly believed that I was far too ugly to be considered and he was very handsome to be trifling with me even though he was quiet and didn't seem like the arrogant type. But with the help of my friends and a line from a movie that stuck to me I asked him out and I'm glad I did. You know, sometimes all you need is 20 seconds of insane courage. Just literally 20 seconds of just embarrassing bravery. And I promise you, something great will come of it. We bought a zoo. So, I am the extrovert but we met because I was childhood friends with his roommate. Basically, I was helping my friend move apartments and was chilling with his fiance when his roommate, my now husband, walked in. He was like, who are you and why are you doing my dishes? A month later he took me out on a date and seven months after that we got engaged and a year later we were married. Tomorrow marks seven years of marriage and we had our son two years ago smile. I'm the girl introvert here. My boyfriend and I both worked at the same restaurant. Had some mild conversation. I saw him check me out when I went to get my check one day. I went on FB and sent him a friend request. As soon as he accepted I made a status about how I was looking for intellectual conversation, he messaged me immediately and we just hit it off. Almost three years this August and we have a seven month old baby boy. We met a mutual friend's house before all of us headed to a party. A friend of my girlfriend started a conversation between the three of us and then kind of ducked out. Our first date was three days later and we've been dating ever since. Almost four years now. We were in a competitive Overwatch game. Despite being a mercy main, she played Reinhardt and I took notice. I thought it was selfless of her, because most Overwatch players are selfish, and thought she would be a great person to partner with. We started talking slowly and I found myself being extremely comfortable around her. Within days I was already falling for her. I finally got to meet her for the first time just last week. We had the most amazing time together. We've only been dating three weeks now but I couldn't be any happier. She lives only a couple hours away and every day I'm counting down until I get to see her beautiful face again. I worked at a record store in a mall. She threw herself at my oblivious ass to the point that two of my co-workers slapped me in the back of the head for not asking her out. We are married now. Although I didn't find a girlfriend, I did find my boyfriend at a bar with friends, when a co-worker's friend brought a friend, and me having imbibed a little bit, left my phone number. Good stuff. So I had been talking to her as friends for a but less than a year, as she was in some of my classes and a club I was in. One day, I'm texting my friend, and he's like hypothetically, if the girl asked you out, would you say yay? I said yay bc she's really nice and cute, and we agree on a lot of stuff. Immediately get a text from her saying I'm sorry, but I just wanted to know if you liked me back. I felt so played, but at the same time, liked her a lot, so hail a mal. Late to the party and a switch to the question, I met the love of my life while working in surgery. He, a shy introverted rep, I a surge tech hiding my unhappiness behind a surgical mask. I had known him for 14 years but always felt he was out of my league. We always managed polite banter, but nothing more. One day, I sense a hint of sadness in him. I ask him to join me and a group of colleagues on a night out that we are planning. He ho-hums and says maybe to the invitation. The big night rolls around and to my surprise he shows up. 
we get to talking and realize we're both in unhappy relationships and that we have way more in common. Fast forward four years and I can't imagine my life without him. We were hired at the same place, at about the exact same time. A quaint retirement home, where I was the dishwasher and she was serving residents with three other girls every shift. We worked alongside each other for 11 months. It wasn't until a newer employee from my school spurred on interest between us, two romantically clueless introverts, each having no fathomable idea how to relationship. Now we're both absolutely joyful together, in so much detailed yet indescribably blissful ways. My GF who is my wife now proposed me, she just wanted to have me as a life partner. I was so confused because I never seen anyone especially a girl really attracted towards me and making so many efforts to be with me, I really thought something was not right but it went all fine, smiley face. Even my friends were surprised, one of them even told her, why are you treating him as if he is Brad Pitt he compared me to Brad Pitt, I never got or will get offended. What girlfriend? Frown. Girlfriend. That's a good one. I flew 1000 miles away from home just for a concert and a small signing with the band. She happened to be right behind me for the signing so we talked about the band and music for a while. Later that day, for the actual concert she was a few people ahead of me in line and I didn't have the guts to go up and talk to her, neither did she. It wasn't until after the concert that I saw her, except that she approached me as soon as my Uber arrived, I just said goodbye and headed for my hotel. Halfway into the drive back I realized what an idiot I was but I was too anxious to tell the driver to go back, so I got to my hotel and got a different Uber back to the venue. I knew the chances of her still being there were small but there she was with a group of people by the tour bus. We talked all night and then just kept talking. We met through mutual friends, and I dated a girl who went to college with her. Four years and I'm still with her. I met my boyfriend when I became homeless and just so happened to meet him when hanging out with a friend. We are getting married in a year. She shared a Game Grumps video on Facebook. Being a fan of the channel, it gave me the courage to slide into her DMs. I don't watch them anymore but they're one YouTube channel that I will never forget. Wife, now, has been for 8 years. Online dating, kink website, threesome with her current boyfriend, worst one night stand ever. I'm a dude BTW. She's attached to my forearm. Degrees degrees. We got drunk after class one night and hooked up. After that, we both thought that was kind of nice, let's do that again, but sober. If you want. If not it's totally okay, I usually don't make that kind of move either. But I'd like to if you do. If you're not busy or something. If not, it's cool. We've been together for three years now. Edit, and still say if you don't want to, it's okay. We work at the same place. I had been working there when she first started and always thought she was cute but was too shy to say anything. I had tried, and failed, to start conversations with her and I thought she had no interest in me. Then one day she smiled and said hi to me as I was coming in and I gained a bit of confidence. We started talking more and more and I would start staying after my shifts to talk to her until she got off, this was usually only half an hour. After one of those days that I stayed over she asked me for my number and the rest was history. Turned out the only reason I failed in starting those initial conversations was because she was also really shy and was attracted to me too lol. We've been together for nearly two years now and we've never had a single rough patch. I'm actually an extrovert, but my boyfriend is a major introvert. We met on Tinder. I had been through a few Tinder dates that went bad guys just wanting sex, bad chemistry, those types of things. I had given up on it, but when we matched I gave it another shot just because I felt I had no reason not to. On our first date he took me out to a Mexican place. I talked a lot during dinner because I'm extroverted and when I'm nervous I can ramble. He ended up buying us some wine and we went geocaching all night. It was one of the best nights of my life. 
And that was that. He's an excellent man. He's an infantry officer in the army, has a degree, and by God, he has the most tender soul. He brings out the inner child in me, and he never gave up on me during my depression. Introverts can really be fascinating as you pull back their layers and get to know them. We're getting married in September. Smile. On a cruise ship vacation with my family years ago, I asked her to dance in this teens club area of ship when a slow song came on during a dance party on the second night of the cruise. It was very unlike me to do it considering how shy of a guy I am and I don't really know why I did it at first or how I worked up the nerve to do it. I didn't know how to dance, she thought that was cute. We were inseparable for the rest of the vacation. Spent four years faithfully long distance after the vacation before moving in together. Introvert dating a fellow introvert. We met on OkCupid. Okay